of riffraff. So it's currently, what is the time, Mister? 20 past 4 in the morning and this little man has been waking up probably nearly a week and a half of between 3, 4 a.m., 4.30 the latest. Just waking up so upset. He's still <laughs> not 100% so I'm thinking it's just because he's a bit sick and he's teething. <laughs> since being up since 4 a.m. pretty much every single day. Poor Huxy, I know he can't help it. So hopefully it's a phase. We've gone through everything. He's warm enough. He's not hungry. He's got water in there. So yeah, we're just, we're getting there. Let's just say that. So I'm so excited because today is Sunday and it means that we have our live yoga flow in the health haven, which I have been so excited for all week. I'm so sore guys. Like I think it's just because I've been doing a lot of at-home workouts, a lot of body weight exercises, and I guess not really giving myself time afterwards to stretch. Plus, I'm used to going to yoga about one to two times a week, but it's now we can go back into the studios, so that's really exciting. But yeah, today at 8 a.m., I've got the yoga flow, so Huxley's just gone down for his sleep, so I'm going to have my coffee, sit, and just do a little bit of meditation. It's not something I do all the time, but when I've been up so early, I find that I lose my patience really quickly, and I know a lot of people can relate to that when you're sleep deprived, every little thing gets to you. So false alarm. So I'm going to sit down, enjoy my coffee, hopefully get to do that before he wakes up and just tidy the house a bit. So I just always um, like to tidy, put a oil diffuser on for the weekend to get the mood set to help have a nice beautiful energy throughout. What else? And it's our anniversary today. So we've been together seven years today, which is so cool. I can't believe it's been seven years, guys. If you had asked me when we first met back in London if we would be here today owning our own home with a toddler, I definitely would have not believed you. So yeah, pretty cool. So I might take you along to our little picnic date today because that's going to be exciting. But it's pretty much just going to be a day in the life vlog um, and yeah, pretty much just starting it with coffee. <laughs> So I got to do my little mini meditation, which was so nice. I feel so good. Sometimes, like being a parent or a mum, whatever, it's really hard to find time for yourself. So I find that when he goes down for his sleep, I used to prioritise that as my 
my time to get all my jobs done, tick off my to-do list. But over the months, I've learned that that's when I can prioritize self-care. Because let's be honest, by the time night time comes, I'm so exhausted. And I mean, even if you don't have kids, like some people's energy, their hormones decrease during the day. So you have less energy, less motivation. So I find morning time, his morning nap time is the best time for me to get things done. So yes, I'm feeling good and I just made breakfast. So what I've got here is just coconut milk mixed with protein powder. So I just put it in a shaker and shook it. Put it in the bowl with some chia seeds. I added some strawberries and my peanut butter granola from the Health Haven. But I've also added this onto um, one of the vlogs. So if you look at the healthy snacks, the granola recipes in there. But that's going to be my brekkie and it is so good and it's such a beautiful morning. So I'm just going to sit out here while he naps still and just take it all in. ready and dressed for our little anniversary lunch but it is so cold like so cold and i don't know if it's gonna rain so fingers crossed it stays sunny for our picnic huxy do you want to show everyone how you jump how do you jump jump go ready jump ready jump wow this is his new trick, guys. Jumping. You're so good at jumping. Wanna hop out? Here we go. I'm gonna take your ball. Like we're gonna go into the shops, but we're gonna go get some food. Hey, we leave the ball here. Okay. So Hoxie's going through a stage where every time we leave, he has to bring a toy. So today it's his basketball. Got your ball, babe? <laughs> you got your ball? Cute. <laughs> so we're just doing a bit of a shop. So we always get our fruit and veg from the markets, but we just forgot a few things. So we're grabbing those. And then I just needed some quinoa. The whole tahini was on special, and you guys know I use that a lot in my cooking. And <laughs> can you tell that our milks are half price? So we each drink different ones like I drink that one Jack drinks the almond quench and Huxley drinks the oat one and then also I found some of these little chippies and also these burgers are really good they're on special too they're good to have in the freezer just for like a something to have like when you don't have anything else to cook so I just make a burger out of them or have it in a salad um, and it's pretty clean ingredients too so yeah I thought I'd show you a little bit about what we get so we are child free. <laughs> <laughs> we probably have only ever got Huxley babysat, like probably babysat two, twice. Yeah, twice I think. So we are very excited to be going for lunch, mm -hmm. like a picnic, I guess. Um, and yeah, seven years today that we've been together, but we don't officially, we never officially had a, 
ask out like a lot of people ask us that it's pretty much we both moved to London didn't know each other met each other in the hostel it was my second day in London it was Jack's first. first and he'd gone over with three other mates and I'd gone over on my own so they were in the same hostel room that I was in so obviously they were from the Gold Coast and I was from like a small town sort of close by so we all just started hanging out as well as um, another girl that was staying in the room um, hostel room and then we just became really good friends and we just pretty much did everything together explored London together and just hung out and then eventually we moved into the same house or what do you like I guess it was a unit yeah. what we moved into the mansions. the mansions if anyone has ever been to London you have to know Acton Town have to and that's where we moved in together and then yeah we moved into the same room and the rest is history we've lived together ever since we've lived together the day we started seeing each other so we've done everything backwards moved in together started going out had a baby and yet to get married <laughs> September so we are still going ahead with all of that and sorry I'm putting the camera in the way so yeah now we're gonna go and have some yummy food but that is pretty much guys the history of our dating relationship <laughs> Jacks. excuse me good timing <laughs> oh my god we are so freaking hungry so what do you think? So we got two Morton Bay bug rolls and what was it? Chili crab, chili crab noodles. noodles. And we are bloody hungry. It took a little while. It took a bit of a drive to get here. It's a little bit fancy up here. All right, we're just finding a nice little picnic spot. And then we're just gonna chill out. Eat some grub. <laughs> Let's look at them. Oh, there's three. <laughs> we only ordered two. You might go freebie. Oh, how nice. She was quite nice, wasn't she? Babe? Yeah, she was lovely. So these are our bug rolls. And then. Can I open that? Yeah. Oh. Chili cup noodle. Oh, I love these noodles too. FYI, these are not gluten free. <laughs> But I've had so many people recommend them. And so then okay. we're just doing it. And then this is our little outlook today. This is so nice. Like you really forget just having time on your own. Like as much as we love obviously having Hoxie, but yeah, super nice just to have our own time. All right, we are starving, so we're gonna dig in. Well, that was so nice. Out of 10, what do you think, babe? Pretty good. That was so good. I've never had bug either. That no. Was delicious. I reckon definitely like a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I think so too. The lost point is because there could have been more. No, <laughs> no, it was so good. So good. We better go home to our little cherub. What are you doing? What's going on? Oh my god, guys. I feel so sick, but it's my own fault. It's mummy's own fault, isn't it? She glutened herself. <coughs> oh, Bobby. So it was so delicious and we had such a good lunch. Nice. But I'm definitely paying for it now. Like, definitely paying for it. Yeah, Papa. We got home and this little one's been teething so bad. You didn't really have a sleep, did you? Uh. Yeah. Why don't... Uh. <gasps> hey. <laughs> you are so beautiful. But yeah, um, super exciting. I'm going to yin yoga in about half an hour. I haven't been to yoga in probably three to four months. So I'm so, so excited to have that little bit of me time out where I'm actually leaving the house changing my environment and just dedicating an hour to myself so i'm really excited about that and then 
I think me and Daddy are just happy to lay on the couch tonight and do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this very short and probably boring to you vlog. But yeah, we won't be doing much for dinner. I'll probably just end up having a green smoothie for dinner just because I've had so much for lunch today and I don't feel amazing. But yeah, I definitely am to touch on that. I'm gluten intolerant, but every now and then I do it to myself. Don't ask me why, because I regret it afterwards, but you to live your life, guys. Got to live your life. All right, well, we're gonna t gonna say goodbye. All right. We're gonna go. <laughs> All right, guys. I will check out now. So, see you in the next vlog. Bye, guys. <laughs>